the reality of my existence now. I kind of had an idea what I thought it'd be like, but it's, it's, it's definitely a lot more work than what the eye can see. I always go back to um, just the thought of one person listening to my mixtape or demo or, you know, a song, you know, to get your community to listen to it, your neighborhood, your state, the West Coast, the East Coast, and build up all the way to Grammy nominations. Believe it or not, years ago, I was scared to say, okay, I'm from Compton, California, and I'm finna have my story like this because this is me, you know? My story is a little bit different. So to actually come out and do that, it took a whole lot of courage. But now I'm on the road, I'm in someone's else city and I'm getting love in their city backstage. They accepted me in their city and saying, we appreciate what you're doing, keep doing what you're doing. And you know, that gives me fuel to keep coming back. You have to be, you have to be ahead of the game each and every day. You have to live, sleep, breathe what you do. Last night I was in the studio at about four in the morning. Went back to the hotel, slept about nine. Got up, ate some type of breakfast. Did a couple phone interviews. Played some beats on my computer prior to me coming back up in here so I could be ready and know what I want to get into. Came to the studio, laid down what I prepped myself to write. Went straight to the Kanye show. I'm meeting different people, different cultures. So I'm constantly writing. The process now is so spontaneous, you know. It's whatever I get my hands on. Whenever an idea approaches, I gotta write it down. I gotta keep a mental note, whether it's a napkin, whether it's my phone, book, or anything, you know, because inspiration is everywhere. So that's how I main focus on my art. Knowing it wasn't the hype, it wasn't press, it wasn't publicity stunts. It was the music, day one. So I have to remember that. No sleep, more work, you know, but it's my passion.